One of the most exciting ways of bringing our art to life is to allow those that look at it to interact with it using the mouse. In this lesson, we will learn about how to interact with the images that our code produces using the mouse. We will look at two types of interactions. In the first one, shapes in our art can follow the user's mouse when it is moving across our image. In the second one, we will focus on users clicking on our art and the various types of animations that this allows us to do. In processing, the mouse cursor has two coordinates, mouse X and mouse Y, which represent, you got it, the X and the Y coordinates of the cursor. Let's try to draw a circle with the center in the position of the mouse. To do so, instead of using the usual X and Y coordinates for the ellipse center, we will be using mouse X and mouse Y, like this. Try to move the mouse around and see what happens. Indeed, the circle is following the mouse cursor. Pretty neat, right? Let's expand on this a bit. Let's say that we still want the ellipse to move around following the mouse, but we only want it to move on the x-axis, keeping the y-axis constant. To do this, we will use the mouse x-coordinate for the x-center of the ellipse, and we will assign a constant value to the y-coordinate of the ellipse center, like this. Let's see what happens if we move the mouse from left to right. That's it, the ellipse is following it, but it is only moving on the X or horizontal axis. Let's try to move the mouse up and down. Nothing happens and the ellipse stays in the same place. Let's do the same thing as before, only this time we want the ellipse to follow the mouse if the mouse goes up and down and not to follow it otherwise. Similarly, we set the X coordinate of the ellipse center to a constant value and the Y coordinate of the ellipse center to be mouse Y. And we have something like this. Now the ellipse is following the mouse around, but only if it is moving up and down. Let's do something more complicated. Let's add a square that follows the mouse cursor on the horizontal axis and keep the circle that follows the mouse on the vertical axis. The code is very similar, except that we add a rect function to draw the square using the x mouse coordinate, mouse x, as the coordinate of the top left of the square. Let's try to move the mouse and see what happens. <laughs> 